guys hope you're doing great our today's question is path sum three so this is a new question that has been added on lead code and it's a really good idea to have a look at this question so you're given a binary tree in which each node contains an integer value find the number of paths that sum to a given value the path does not need to start or end at the root of a, or a leaf but it must go downwards traveling only from parent nodes to the child nodes like that the tree has no more than 1000 nodes and the values are in the range okay minus of 10 lakh to plus of 10 lakh okay so for example this is the given tree right and the sum is 8 so we want to find all the paths in the tree whose values sum up to 8 but the only thing is that they should be traveling downwards right so for example here there are three such paths which have the sum equal to 8, 5 and 3. So as you can see, this is traveling downwards from 5 to 3. 5, 2 and 1, this is again traveling downwards. And minus 3 and 11, which is again traveling downwards. So we don't need it to like go through the root. But uh, yeah, it should be traveling downwards. Uh, and hence the answer that we should return should be 3. Okay. So uh, we are going to use recursion in this because again, this is a problem where we can break it down into sub problems. And if we find the solution or answer to those sub problems for the child nodes, we can actually build up that solution and find out the answer to the parent node and the overall answer, right? So uh, what we will be doing here is that yeah, so since uh, we, we are not dependent or we are, we are not strict about including the root, um, the path could very well also be anywhere in the subtree. The only thing it just needs to be downwards. So what we'll do is that we'll take a list, okay? And let's say we, st obviously we'll start from 10. So let's say if we are at 10, uh, we first of all traverse the left and the right recursively and add that to the list, okay? So we add 10 to the list and then the left and the right. And then we start traversing the list from the last element, okay? Because we want to check that at any point, if we reach uh, a sum which is equal to the given target sum, then that is one path that we have found, right? So that's why we will start traversing from the last, um, so, so for example, here, in this case, we'll start in that list, we'll start traversing from one, one plus two, three, plus five, eight. Okay, just as we find some eight, it means we have found one path and then we will add it to the final count. Okay, uh, and then we'll proceed. So, um, and once we have processed this node, we will also remove it from the list because we don't want it to be a part of the list anymore we want the other parts to be present in that list right so we will remove it after we have processed it as a part of the recursive algorithm so i think uh, we'll just get started and it will get better yeah so let's save our answers like a count okay and we'll also need, as I was saying, an array list of integers, right? Um, yeah, we can just maintain a list of integers or we can make, make, maintain a list of tree nodes. But yeah, we just need the values there. So we can just keep it an integer. So let's just, just call it an integer, uh, call a list. Okay. Now, with the path sum, right? So we just have to, maybe we'll just write a function called get sum, okay? And to it, we'll get give it the root and the sum, yeah, okay? And then we can just return the count, maybe, just, yeah, let's see. Okay, so let's implement this method now for get sum. And it has got tree, node, root, and just got an integer sum. Yeah. Okay. 
So now in this first of all if the root is null yeah okay now the return type of this will be void because we are not going to return anything okay so if it's null then you just return first of all Oops. yeah return right and otherwise we want to add this to the list right so you just add root dot value to the list and then we yeah so and then we just call this get some recursively on the left and the right both right so you just do a get sum on the left okay and we do a get sum on the right yeah and after this we'll just take a mm, temp value and because we will start traversing through the list now so we only start from the last of the list because the path needs to be built downwards so we start summing up the values from the last uh, element in the list and if while doing that summing up we find um, that there is a path which is equal to the sum that's required then we have found a path right so that's what we're trying to do here yeah the typical for loop okay and we just want to get the value at this point and we just want to add it to temp right so we just do a list dot get i right because we, we just have maintained or inserted the value in this value of the node. So we don't need a dot value or anything. We just add it and then every time we add a value to the temp, we just check that is my temp equals to sum, right? If yes, then we have found one path and we just increment count, okay? So once this is done, we all we need to do is that we just want to remove the last element that is the one that we just added right now over here so we just do a remove and we try to get its size minus one so that will remove the last element from the list right okay and we have not returned anything from this so it should be good and then count is um, is a global variable so we're just updating count and then we should be able to return the count from here as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if that works. Hmm. Oh, yeah. We need to provide it the sum as well. So it says that index is, uh, index is minus one is going out of bounds. Um, oh, oh, yeah. We have mentioned this twice for some reason. I don't know why. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oops. Yeah, that works. Okay. All right. So uh, this works, and the time complexity is O of n because we are using 
like they're just traveling through the nodes once but the space complexity is also o of n one because of the recursion and second because of the list as well right so yeah the time complexity and the space complexity for this question are o of n and i hope you guys find this video helpful if you do please like share and subscribe keep coding and take care guys